Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox the Bangu external DVD drive, take a close-up look and test it out. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So this is a portable external USB 3.0 DVD drive, which is able to burn, write or rewrite CDs and DVDs up to 8 times speed. And here are the external DVD drive's specifications. And let's go ahead and open up the box. Let's just make sure that there's nothing else left in there. That's great, so let's set that aside. And then of course, check out the contents they included inside of the box. So there is a packet here, which is a USB cable. Okay, let's go ahead and set that down and to one side. And then of course, Remove the external DVD drive and it comes with a user manual as well. And let's just make sure that there's nothing else left inside the card packaging or underneath it. So let's go ahead and now set that aside as well. So of course, the user manual for the Bangu external DVD drive. So it's nice and simple indeed. So let's go ahead and set that down and to one side as well. And let's go ahead and slide the DVD drive out from that clear plastic packaging and take a close up look. So it does have a very lightweight and cool satin finish. As you can see, it is rather slim or low in profile. And of course, on the underside, it's nice to see that there are four round non slip silicone feet and then of course there are the specifications about its laser and power requirements and of course the connections on the opposite side of the DVD drive or rewritable drive if I can get the camcorder to focus it is struggling a little bit, but there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, plug it into my Alienware laptop M17X R3, the trusty old M17X R3, which I have just on the side here. And of course, I might want to slide the laptop all the way across to the right so that I can access the USB 3.0 port on the left side of the laptop. Of course, we have the USB cable as well. So let's go ahead and 
undo the USB cable and show you the cable length. Okay, and go ahead and plug the USB cable into the back part of the DVD drive. And let me slide the laptop across just that little bit more. And of course, plug the cable in to the laptop. And I'm just sliding everything across to the right, just a little bit more once again, so you can see what's happening with the external drive. Okay, and just like that, there is a prompt on my Windows 7 Professional to say that the device is now ready to be used. So let's go ahead and test it out. Let's press on the front button there. So there's a tray loading drive, which is good to see. So because it is tray loading, it will accept a variety of CD sizes such as uh, mini CDs and regular CDs. So I have a Havit software CD here, which is a mini CD which I can't use on my Alienware M17X R3 laptop because it has a slot loading drive so unless you want to craft something like this, which takes many, many minutes or even hours to make. So it's a homemade adapter, which I made to put the CD in. So quite handy indeed, but it uses plenty of time and energy to construct. So let's put that aside then and instead pop the CD into the tray and then close it. So the CD drive's motor is very quiet, which is nice to know. And of course, the prompt on the laptop is now showing. So I'm not quite sure whether it's worth stacking the drive on the laptop so you can see the screen and what's happening. Okay, so just like that, the autoplay has loaded. Uh, it did load as soon as I popped the mini CD in, but you can see that it is responding just like that without any software installation whatsoever for the external drive to work. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the CD tray once again. and just show you a close-up of the tray so you know the size and what kind of CDs it can hold. So there's a tray loading DVD drive CD burner or DVD burner. And it's nice to know that the CD will lock in place. So very practical design indeed. Pop the mini CD out and let's try a regular CD instead. So I do have a DVD here, one of my favorites, Risky Business. Let's go ahead and pop the DVD into the drive. So it is a regular sized CD or DVD, go ahead, pop it in and slide it shut. And straight away, the autoplay has come on on the screen. So let's go ahead and play the DVD movie. 
and let's go to return to movie. And just like that, it is playing very smoothly without any issues whatsoever. And you can see the LED light at the front of the tray blinking away to show that the drive is being accessed. Now let's go ahead and skip along. to see how responsive the drive is. So very good indeed. I'm just tapping away two different parts of the movie. And just let me close that down and then move the laptop to one side. So that's the Bangu external DVD drive. Thanks for watching and happy spinning.